Well, some of my parts came in. A whole bunch of capacitors. So, I am going to start the process of recapping the motherboard. As, as you can see, if you look, say there, that cap's overheated. That cap is overheated. So, I'm just going to replace all of the electrolytics on here and have to kind of also replace some chips because some of them, not that one, but there's a couple here that, yeah, like that one. Focus, focus. You can kind of see that the pins are corroded on that. So I'm trying to make a list of all the chips that are in the uh, board that need replaced. But I'm going to replace capacitors first and see where that gets me. Um, update on the power supply. Why? It's currently down because I had a safety cap, which was right there the other day. It was working just fine, and then the safety cap, which kind of looks like this here, decided to explode and start smoking. So, yeah, both those safety caps are getting replaced. Figures the two caps that I leave in the power supply, one of them decides to explode. But yeah, once I get that, those are on order. And then, so I'm going to work on the motherboard. And if I get that done, I do have the parts to recap the monitor. So I'll, do, I'll recap the monitor as well. Okay, I started replacing some of the caps here. Again, just like in the power supply, you can see the difference in size between the old caps, such as this blue one, and the new caps. Same capacity, same capacitance, 16 volt, 25 volt. So it's about twice what that'll ever carry because this, everything in a computer is either pretty much 5 or 12 volts. So, again, more airflow, less space, but more space between components, and I think it's going to work quite well.